Angela Dorothea Merkel, German, Aila Emkel, Ne Kastner, born 17 July 1954 is a German politician serving as Chancellor of Germany since 2005 and leader of the center-right Christian Democratic Union since 2000. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union, the most powerful woman in the world, and the leader of the free world. Merkel was born in Hamburg in then West Germany and moved to East Germany as an infant when her father, a Lutheran clergyman, received a pastorate in Pearlberg. She obtained a doctorate in quantum chemistry in 1986 and worked as a research scientist until 1989. Merkel entered politics in the wake of the revolutions of 1989, and briefly served as a deputy spokesperson for the first democratically elected East German government headed by Lothar de Maizière in 1990. Following German reunification in 1990, Merkel was elected to the Bundestag for the state of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and has been re-elected ever since. As the protégé of Chancellor Helmut Kohl, Merkel was appointed as the Federal Minister for Women and Youth in Kohl's government in 1991, and became the Federal Minister for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety in 1994. After her party lost the federal election in 1998, Merkel was elected Secretary General of the CDU before becoming the party's first female leader two years later in the aftermath of a donation scandal that toppled Wolfgang Schobel. Following the 2005 federal election, Merkel was appointed Germany's first female chancellor at the head of a grand coalition consisting of the CDU, its Bavarian sister party, the Christian Social Union (CSU), and the Social Democratic Party of Germany (SPD). In the 2009 federal election, the CDU obtained the largest share of the vote and Merkel was able to form a coalition government with the Free Democratic Party (FDP). At the 2013 federal election, Merkel's CDU won a landslide victory with 41.5% of the vote and formed a second grand coalition with the SPD, after the FDP lost all of its representation in the Bundestag. In the 2017 federal election the CDU again became the largest party, and she was re-elected to her fourth term on 14 March 2018. In 2007, Merkel was president of the European Council and played a central role in the negotiation of the Treaty of Lisbon and the Berlin Declaration. One of Merkel's consistent priorities has been to strengthen transatlantic economic relations. Merkel played a crucial role in managing the financial crisis at the European and international level, and she has been referred to as the decider in domestic policy, health care reform, problems concerning future energy development and more recently her government's approach to the ongoing migrant crisis have been major issues during her chancellorship. On 26 March 2014, Merkel became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the European Union and she is currently the senior G7 leader. In October 2018, Merkel announced that she would not seek re-election as leader of the CDU at the party convention in December 2018 and as chancellor in 2021. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background and early life. Merkel was born Angela Dorothea Kastner in 1954 in Hamburg, West Germany, the daughter of Horst Kastner (1926–2011), née Kosmierczak, a Lutheran pastor and a native of Berlin, and his wife Herland née Jentz, born in 1928 in Danzig (now Gdansk, Poland), a teacher of English and Latin. She has two younger siblings: Markus Kastner, a physicist, and Irene Kastner, an occupational therapist. In her childhood and youth, Merkel was known among her peers by the nickname Cassie, derived from her last name Kastner. Merkel is of German and Polish descent. Her paternal grandfather, Ludwig Kosmierczak, was a German policeman of Polish ethnicity, who had taken part in Poland's struggle for independence in the early 20th century. He married Merkel's grandmother Margareta, a German from Berlin, and relocated to her hometown where he worked in the police. In 1930, they Germanized the Polish name Kosmierczak to Kastner. Merkel's maternal grandparents were the Danzig politician Willy Jentz, and Gertrude Alma ne Drange, a daughter of the city clerk of Elbing now Elblag, Poland, Emil Drange. Since the mid-1990s Merkel has publicly mentioned her Polish heritage on several occasions and described herself as a quarter Polish, but her Polish roots became better known as a result of a 2013 biography. Religion played a key role in the Kastner family's migration from West Germany to East Germany. 
Merkel's paternal grandfather was originally Catholic but the entire family converted to Lutheranism during the childhood of her father, who later studied Lutheran theology in Heidelberg and Hamburg. In 1954, when Angela was just three months old, her father received a pastorate at the church in Quitzow a quarter of Perlberg in Brandenburg, which was then in East Germany. The family moved to Templin and Merkel grew up in the countryside 90 kilometers 56 miles north of East Berlin. In 1968, Merkel joined the Free German Youth FDJ, the official communist youth movement sponsored by the ruling Marxist-Leninist Socialist Unity Party of Germany. Membership was nominally voluntary, but those who did not join found it difficult to gain admission to higher education. She did not participate in the secular coming-of-age ceremony Jugendwe, however, which was common in East Germany. Instead, she was confirmed. During this time, she participated in several compulsory courses on Marxism-Leninism with her grades only being regarded as sufficient. Later, at the Academy of Sciences, she became a member of its FDJ secretariat. According to her former colleagues, she openly propagated Marxism as the secretary for agitation and propaganda. However, Merkel has denied this claim and stated that she was secretary for culture, which involved activities like obtaining theater tickets and organizing talks by visiting Soviet authors. She stated, I can only rely on my memory, if something turns out to be different, I can live with that. At school, she learned to speak Russian fluently, and was awarded prizes for her proficiency in Russian and mathematics. Merkel was educated at Karl Marx University, Leipzig, where she studied physics from 1973 to 1978. While a student, she participated in the reconstruction of the ruin of the Moritzbaste, a project students initiated to create their own club and recreation facility on campus. Such an initiative was unprecedented in the GDR of that period, and initially resisted by the university. However, with backing of the local leadership of the SED party, the project was allowed to proceed. Near the end of her studies, Merkel sought an assistant professorship at an engineering school. As a condition for getting the job, Merkel was told she would need to agree to report on her colleagues to officers of the Ministry for State Security. Stasi. Merkel declined, using the excuse that she could not keep secrets well enough to be an effective spy. Merkel worked and studied at the Central Institute for Physical Chemistry of the Academy of Sciences in berlin Adlershof from 1978 to 1990. At first she and her husband squatted in Midi. After being awarded a doctorate, Dr. R. E. R. Nat, for her thesis on quantum chemistry in 1986, she worked as a researcher and published several papers. In 1986 she was able to travel freely to West Germany to attend a congress. She also participated in a multi-week language course in Donetsk. <laughs> Early political career The fall of the Berlin Wall served as the catalyst for Merkel's political career. Although she did not participate in the crowd celebrations the night the wall came down, one month later Merkel became involved in the growing democracy movement, joining the new party Democratic Awakening. Following the first and only multi-party election in East Germany, she became the deputy spokesperson of the new pre-unification caretaker government under Lothar de Maizière. Merkel had impressed de Maizière with her adept dealing with journalists questioning the role of a party leader, Wolfgang Schnur, as a secret informant for police. In April 1990, Democratic Awakening merged with the East German CDU, which in turn merged with its Western counterpart after reunification. In the German federal election of 1990, the first to be held following reunification, Merkel successfully stood for election to the Bundestag in the parliamentary constituency of Straussend, Norvorpommern, Rügen in North Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. She has won re-election from this constituency renamed, with slightly adjusted borders, Vorpommern Rügen, Vorpommern Greifswald I in 2003 at the seven federal elections held since then. Almost immediately following her entry into Parliament, Merkel was appointed by Chancellor Helmut Kohl to serve as Minister for Women and Youth in the Federal Cabinet. In 1994, she was promoted to the position of Minister for the Environment and Nuclear Safety, which gave her greater political visibility and a platform on which to build her personal political career. As one of Kohl's protégés and his youngest cabinet minister, she was frequently referred to by Kohl as Mein Mädchen, My Girl. Topic. Leader of the opposition 
After the Kohl government was defeated at the 1998 election, Merkel was appointed Secretary General of the CDU, a key position as the party was no longer part of the federal government. Merkel oversaw a string of CDU election victories in six out of seven state elections in 1999, breaking the long-standing SPD Green hold on the Bundesrat. Following a party funding scandal that compromised many leading figures of the CDU, including Kohl himself and his successor as CDU leader, Wolfgang Schobel, Merkel criticized her former mentor publicly and advocated a fresh start for the party without him. She was subsequently elected to replace Schobel, becoming the first female leader of a German party on 10 April 2000. Her election surprised many observers, as her personality offered a contrast to the party she had been elected to lead. Merkel is a centrist Protestant originating from predominantly Protestant northern Germany, while the CDU is a male dominated, socially conservative party with strongholds in western and southern Germany, and its Bavarian sister party, the CSU, has deep Catholic roots. Following Merkel's election as CDU leader, the CDU was not able to win in subsequent state elections. As early as February 2001 her rival Friedrich Merz had made clear he intended to become Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder's main challenger in the 2002 election. Merkel's own ambition to become Chancellor was well known, but she lacked the support of most minister presidents and other grandees within her own party. She was subsequently outmaneuvered politically by CSU leader Edmund Stoiber, to whom she eventually ceded the privilege of challenging Schroeder. He went on to squander a large lead in opinion polls to lose the election by a razor-thin margin in an election campaign that was dominated by the Iraq War. While Chancellor Schroeder made clear he would join the war in Iraq, Merkel and the CDU-CSU supported the invasion of Iraq. After Stoiber's defeat in 2002, in addition to her role as CDU leader, Merkel became leader of the opposition in the Bundestag. Friedrich Merz, who had held the post prior to the 2002 election, was eased out to make way for Merkel. Merkel supported a substantial reform agenda for Germany's economic and social system, and was considered more pro market than her own party. The CDU. She advocated German labor law changes, specifically removing barriers to laying off employees and increasing the allowed number of work hours in a week. She argued that existing laws made the country less competitive, because companies could not easily control labor costs when business is slow. Merkel argued that Germany should phase out nuclear power less quickly than the Schroeder administration had planned. Merkel advocated a strong transatlantic partnership and German American friendship. In the spring of 2003, defying strong public opposition, Merkel came out in favor of the U.S. invasion of Iraq, describing it as unavoidable and accusing Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of anti-Americanism. She criticized the government's support for the accession of Turkey to the European Union and favored a privileged partnership instead. In doing so, she reflected public opinion that grew more hostile toward Turkish membership of the European Union. 2005 national election On 30 May 2005, Merkel won the CDU, CSU nomination as challenger to Chancellor Gerhard Schroeder of the SPD in the 2005 national elections. Her party began the campaign with a 21-point lead over the SPD in national opinion polls, although her personal popularity lagged behind that of the incumbent. However, the CDU, CSU campaign suffered when Merkel, having made economic competence central to the CDU's platform, confused gross and net income twice during a televised debate. She regained some momentum after she announced that she would appoint Paul Kirchhoff, a former judge at the German Constitutional Court and leading fiscal policy expert, as Minister of Finance. Merkel and the CDU lost ground after Kirchhoff proposed the introduction of a flat tax in Germany, again undermining the party's broad appeal on economic affairs and convincing many voters that the CDU's platform of deregulation was designed to benefit only the rich. This was compounded by Merkel's proposal to increase VAT to reduce Germany's deficit and fill the gap in revenue from a flat tax. The SPD were able to increase their support simply by pledging not to introduce flat taxes or increase VAT. Although Merkel's standing recovered after she distanced herself from Kirchhoff's proposals, she remained considerably less popular than Schroeder, and the CDU's lead was down to 9% on the eve of the election. On the eve of the election, Merkel was still favored to win a decisive victory based on opinion polls. 
On 18 September 2005, Merkel's CDU, CSU and Schroeder's SPD went head-to-head -head in the national elections, with the CDU, CSU winning 35.2% CDU 27.8%, CSU 7.5% of the second votes to the SPD's 34.2%. The result was so close, both Schroeder and Merkel claimed victory. Neither the SPD Green Coalition nor the CDU, CSU and its preferred coalition partners, the Free Democratic Party, held enough seats to form a majority in the Bundestag. A grand coalition between the CDU, CSU and SPD faced the challenge that both parties demanded the chancellorship. However, after three weeks of negotiations, the two parties reached a deal whereby Merkel would become chancellor and the SPD would hold eight of the 16 seats in the cabinet. Topic. Chancellor of Germany On the 22nd of November 2005, Merkel assumed the office of Chancellor of Germany following a stalemate election that resulted in a grand coalition with the SPD. The coalition deal was approved by both parties at party conferences on 14 November 2005. Merkel was elected chancellor by the majority of delegates 397 to 217 in the newly assembled Bundestag on the 22nd of November 2005 but 51 members of the governing coalition voted against her reports at the time indicated that the grand coalition would pursue a mix of policies some of which differed from Merkel's political platform as leader of the opposition and candidate for chancellor the coalition's intent was to cut public spending whilst increasing VAT from 16 to 19 percent, social insurance contributions and the top rate of income tax. When announcing the coalition agreement, Merkel stated that the main aim of her government would be to reduce unemployment, and that it was this issue on which her government would be judged. Her party was re-elected in 2009 with an increased number of seats, and could form a governing coalition with the FDP. This term was overshadowed by the European debt crisis. Conscription in Germany was abolished and the Bundeswehr became a volunteer military. Unemployment sank below the mark of 3 million unemployed people. In the election of September 2013, the CDU, CSU parties emerged as winners, but formed another grand coalition with the SPD due to the FDP's failure to obtain the minimum of 5% of votes required to enter parliament. In the 2017 election, Merkel led her party to victory for the fourth time. Both CDU, CSU and SPD received a significantly lower proportion of the vote than they did in the 2013 election, and attempted to form a coalition with the FDP and Greens. The collapse of these talks led to stalemate. The German president Frank Walter Steinmeier appealed to the SPD to change their hard stance and to consider a third grand coalition with the CDU, CSU. Recent news has said that her successor, Anigret Kramp Karrenbauer may take over Merkel's position, if she does not win the upcoming election in Germany. This is neither confirmed or denied, but is a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Domestic policy Immigration <laughs> 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 In October 2010, Merkel told a meeting of younger members of her Conservative Christian Democratic Union CDU party at Potsdam that attempts to build a multicultural society in Germany had utterly failed, stating that the concept that we are now living side by side and are happy about it does not work and we feel attached to the Christian concept of mankind, that is what defines us. Anyone who doesn't accept that is in the wrong place here. She continued to say that immigrants should integrate and adopt Germany's culture and values. This has added to a growing debate within Germany on the levels of immigration, its effect on Germany and the degree to which Muslim immigrants have integrated into German society. Refugee and migration policy During the Syrian civil war, Merkel pledged to give refuge in Germany to Syrians in fleeing the fighting, discontinuing the enforcement of EU regulations for asylum seekers. This policy is widely regarded as having set off the 2015 European migrant crisis. During the crisis, the number of people coming from African nations as well as from countries in the Middle East, outside the war zone, such as Afghanistan and Iran, rose significantly. On 1 July 2018, German Interior Minister Horst Seehofer offered to resign after rejecting Chancellor Angela Merkel's EU migration deal. 
Foreign policy Merkel's foreign policy has focused on strengthening European cooperation and international trade agreements. Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union throughout her tenure as Chancellor. One of Merkel's priorities was strengthening transatlantic economic relations. She signed the agreement for the Transatlantic Economic Council on 30 April 2007 at the White House. Merkel enjoyed good relations with U.S. Presidents George W. Bush, and Barack Obama. Obama described her in 2016 as his closest international partner. Throughout his tenure as president, on 25 September 2007, Merkel met the 14th Dalai Lama for private and informal talks in the Chancellery in Berlin amid protest from China. China afterwards cancelled separate talks with German officials, including talks with Justice Minister Bridget Zypreis. In 2006 Merkel expressed concern about over-reliance on Russian energy, but she received little support from others in Berlin. Merkel favors the association agreement between Ukraine and the European Union, but stated in December 2012 that its implementation depends on reforms in Ukraine. In recognition of the importance of China to the German economy, by 2014 Merkel had led seven trade delegations to China since assuming office in 2005. The same year, in March, China's President Xi Jinping visited Germany. In 2015, with the absence of Stephen Harper, Merkel became the only leader to have attended every G20 meeting since the very first in 2008, having been present at a record 11 summits as of 2016. She hosted the 12th meeting at the 2017 G20 Hamburg summit. In June 2017, Merkel criticized the draft of new U.S. sanctions against Russia that target EU Russia energy projects, including Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. In June 2018, Merkel said that there had been no moral or political justification for the post war expulsion of ethnic Germans from Central and Eastern European countries. Topic. Eurozone crisis Following major falls in worldwide stock markets in September 2008, the German government stepped in to assist the mortgage company Hypo Real Estate with a bailout, which was agreed on 6 October, with German banks to contribute €30 billion Euros and the Bundesbank €20 billion Euros to a credit line. On 4 October 2008 following the Irish government's decision to guarantee all deposits in private savings accounts, a move she strongly criticised, Merkel said there were no plans for the German government to do the same. The following day, Merkel stated that the government would guarantee private savings account deposits, after all. However, two days later, on 6 October 2008, it emerged that the pledge was simply a political move that would not be backed by legislation. Other European governments eventually either raised the limits or promised to guarantee savings in full. Topic. Social expenditure At the World Economic Forum in Davos, 2013, she said that Europe had only 7% of the global population and produced only 25% of the global GDP, but that it accounted for almost 50% of global social expenditure. She went on to say that Europe could only maintain its prosperity by being innovative and measuring itself against the best. Since then, this comparison has become a central element in major speeches. The international financial press has widely commented on her thesis, with The Economist saying that If Mrs. Merkel's vision is pragmatic, so too is her plan for implementing it. It can be boiled down to three statistics, a few charts and some facts on an A4 sheet of paper. The three figures are 7%, 25% and 50%. Mrs. Merkel never tires of saying that Europe has 7% of the world's population, 25% of its GDP and 50% of its social spending. If the region is to prosper in competition with emerging countries, it cannot continue to be so generous. Adding that She produces graphs of unit labor costs at EU meetings in much the same way that the late Margaret Thatcher used to pull passages from Friedrich Hayek's road to serfdom from her handbag. The Financial Times commented, Although Ms. Merkel stopped short of suggesting that a ceiling on social spending might be one yardstick for measuring competitiveness, she hinted as much in the light of soaring social spending in the face of an aging population. Cabinets 
The first cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in at 1600 Central Europe time on the 22nd of November 2005. On 31 October 2005, after the defeat of his favoured candidate for the position of Secretary-General of the SPD, Franz Muntifering indicated that he would resign as party chairman, which he did in November. Ostensibly responding to this, Edmund Stoiber CSU, who was originally nominated as Minister for Economics and Technology, announced his withdrawal on 1 November 2005. While this was initially seen as a blow to Merkel's attempt at forming a viable coalition, the manner in which Stoiber withdrew earned him much ridicule and severely undermined his position as a Merkel rival. Separate conferences of the CDU, CSU, and SPD approved the proposed cabinet on 14 November 2005. The second cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in on the 28th of October 2009. In 2013, Merkel won one of the most decisive victories in German history, achieving the best result for the CDU CSU since reunification and coming within 5 seats of the first absolute majority in the Bundestag since 1957. However, with their preferred coalition partner, the FDP, failing to enter parliament for the first time since 1949, the CDU, CSU turned to the SPD to form the third grand coalition in post-war German history and the second under Merkel's leadership. The third cabinet of Angela Merkel was sworn in on 17 December 2013. <laughs> Topic. Approval ratings Midway through her second term, Merkel's approval plummeted in Germany, resulting in heavy losses in state elections for her party. An August 2011 poll found her coalition had only 36% support compared to a rival potential coalition's 51%. However, she scored well on her handling of the recent euro crisis 69% rated her performance as good rather than poor, and her approval rating reached an all-time high of 77% in February 2012 and again in July 2014. Merkel's approval rating dropped to 54% in October 2015, during the European migrant crisis, the lowest since 2011. According to a poll conducted after terror attacks in Germany Merkel's approval rating dropped to 47% August 2016. Half of Germans did not want her to serve a fourth term in office compared to 42% in favour. However, according to a poll taken in October 2016, her approval rating had been found to have risen again. 54% of Germans were found to be satisfied with work of Merkel as Chancellor. According to another poll taken in November 2016, 59% were to found to be in favor of a renewed Chancellor candidature of Merkel in 2017. According to a poll carried out just days after the 2016 Berlin attack, in which it was asked which political leaders Germans trust to solve their country's problems, 56% named Merkel, 39% Seehofer CSU, 35% Gabriel SPD, 32% Schultz SPD, 25% Ozdemir Greens, 20% Wagenacht Left Party, 15% Lindner FDP, and just 10% for Petri AFD. A YouGov survey published in late December 2017 found that just 36% of all respondents want Merkel to stay at the helm until 2021, while half of those surveyed voters called for a change at the top before the end of the legislature. Topic. International status Merkel has been widely described as the de facto leader of the European Union throughout her tenure as Chancellor. Merkel has twice been named the world's second most powerful person following Vladimir Putin by Forbes magazine, the highest ranking ever achieved by a woman. On 26 March 2014, Merkel became the longest-serving incumbent head of government in the European Union. In December 2015, Merkel was named as Time magazine's Person of the Year, with the magazine's cover declaring her to be the Chancellor of the Free World. In May 2016, Merkel was named the most powerful woman in the world for a record 12 time by Forbes. Following the election of Donald Trump to the U.S. presidency in November 2016, Merkel was described by the New York Times as the liberal West's last defender. Since 2016 she has been described by many commentators as the leader of the free world. Former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton described Merkel in 2017 as the most important leader in the free world. She is currently the senior G7 leader. Topic. Resignation plans 
On 29 October 2018, Merkel announced that she would not seek re-election as leader of CDU at their party conference in December 2018, but intends to remain as chancellor until 2021, when the next German federal election, at the latest, is to be held. She stated that she does not plan to seek any political office after this. The resignations followed October setbacks for the CSU in the Bavarian state election and for the CDU in the Hessian state election. She decided not to suggest any person as her successor as leader of the CDU. Topic. Personal life In 1977 at the age of 23, Angela Kastner married physics student Ulrich Merkel and took his surname. The marriage ended in divorce in 1982. Her second and current husband is quantum chemist and professor Joachim Sauer, who has largely remained out of the media spotlight. They first met in 1981, became a couple later and married privately on 30 December 1998. She has no children, but Sauer has two adult sons from a previous marriage. Merkel is a fervent football fan and has been known to listen to games while in the Bundestag and to attend games of the national team in her official capacity. Merkel has a fear of dogs after being attacked by one in 1995. Vladimir Putin, in a move reminiscent of Germany's first chancellor, brought in his Labrador retriever during a press conference in 2007. Putin claims he did not mean to scare her, though Merkel later observed, I understand why he has to do this, to prove he's a man. He's afraid of his own weakness. Topic. Religion. Angela Merkel is a Lutheran member of the Evangelical Church in Berlin, Brandenburg and Silesian Upper Lusatia German, Evangelische Kirch Berlin Brandenburg Schlesisch Oberlausitz, EKBO, a United Protestant i.e. both Reformed and Lutheran church body under the umbrella of the Evangelical Church in Germany EKD. The EKBO is a church of the Union of Evangelical Churches. Before the 2004 merger of the Evangelical Church in Berlin Brandenburg and the Evangelical Church in Silesian Upper Lusatia, both also being a part of the EKD, she belonged to the former. In 2012, Merkel said, regarding her faith, I am a member of the Evangelical Church. I believe in God and religion is also my constant companion, and has been for the whole of my life. We as Christians should above all not be afraid of standing up for our beliefs. She also publicly declared that Germany suffers not from too much Islam, but too little Christianity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors and awards. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors. Topic: <laughs> 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 National honors. Germany, Grand Cross First Class of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany Topic. Foreign Honours Austria, Grand Decoration of Honour in Gold with Sash of the Order of Honour for Services to the Republic of Austria Bulgaria, Grand Cross of the Order of the Balkan Mountains Israel, Recipient of the President's Medal Italy, Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic Lithuania, Grand Cross of the Order of Itatas the Great Norway, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit Peru, Grand Cross of the Order of the Son of Peru Portugal, Grand Cross of the Order of Infante Henry Saudi Arabia, Grand Officer of the Order of Abdulaziz Al Saud United States of America, Presidential Medal of Freedom Topic. Honorary degrees In 2007, Merkel was awarded an honorary doctorate from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. In June 2008, she was awarded the honorary doctorate from Leipzig University. University of Technology in Wrocław Poland in September 2008 and Babes Bolya University from Cluj-Napoca, Romania on 12 October 2010 for her historical contribution to the European unification and for her global role in renewing international cooperation. On 23 May 2013, she was awarded an honorary doctorate from the Radboud University Nijmegen. 
In November 2013, she was awarded the Honorary Doctorate honoris causa title by the University of Szeged. In November 2014, she was awarded the title Doctor Honoris Causa by Comenius University in Bratislava. In September 2015, she was awarded the title Doctor Honoris Causa by the University of Bern. In January 2017, she was awarded the title Doctor Honoris Causa jointly by the Ghent University and Katholieke Universiteit at Leuven. In May 2017, Merkel was awarded the title of Doctrix Honoris Causa by the University of Helsinki. Topic. Awards India, recipient of the Jawaharlal Nehru Award for International Understanding In 2006, Angela Merkel was awarded the Vision for Europe Award for her contribution toward greater European integration. She received the Karl Spreis Charlemagne Prize in 2008 for Distinguished Services to European Unity. In March 2008, she received the Benai Barith Europe Award of Merit. Merkel topped Forbes magazine's list of the world's 100 most powerful women in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and 2016. New statesman named Angela Merkel in the world's 50 most influential figures, 2010. On 16 June 2010, the American Institute for Contemporary German Studies at Johns Hopkins University in Washington, D.C. awarded Chancellor Merkel its Global Leadership Award in recognition of her outstanding dedication to strengthening German-American relations. On 21 September 2010, the Leo Back Institute, a research institution in New York City devoted to the history of German-speaking Jewry, awarded Angela Merkel the Leo Back Medal. The medal was presented by former U.S. Secretary of the Treasury and current director of the Jewish Museum Berlin, W. Michael Blumenthal, who cited Merkel's support of Jewish cultural life and the integration of minorities in Germany. On 31 May 2011, she received the Jawaharlal Nehru Award for the year 2009 from the Indian government. She received the award for international understanding. Forbes' list of the world's most powerful people ranked Merkel as the world's second most powerful person in 2012, the highest ranking achieved by a woman since the list began in 2009. She was ranked fifth in 2013 and 2014. On 28 November 2012, she received the Heinz Galinsky Award in Berlin, Germany. India, Indira Gandhi Peace Prize, 2013. In December 2015, she was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. For the year 2017, she received the Elie Wiesel Award, from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. In 2017 she was ranked number one in Forbes's list of the world's 100 most powerful women. Topic. Comparisons As a female politician from a center-right party who is also a scientist, Merkel has been compared by many in the English-language press to former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Some have referred to her as, "...iron lady", "...iron girl", and even, "...the iron frau", all alluding to Thatcher, whose nickname was, "...the iron lady". Thatcher also had a science degree from Oxford University in Chemistry. Political commentators have debated the precise extent to which their agendas are similar. Later in her tenure, Merkel acquired the nickname, Muddy, a German familiar form of mother. She has also been called the Iron Chancellor, in reference to Otto von Bismarck. In the U.S., both Donald Trump and business insider writer Josh Barrow have described Merkel as being similar to Hillary Clinton, in addition to being the first female German chancellor, the first to have grown up in the former East Germany though she was born in the West, and the youngest German chancellor since the Second World War. Merkel is also the first born after World War II, and the first chancellor of the Federal Republic with a background in natural sciences. While she studied physics, her predecessors studied law, business or history, among other professions. Topic. Controversies Merkel has been criticized for being personally present and involved at the M100 Media Award handover to Danish cartoonist Kurt Westergaard, who had triggered the Muhammad cartoons controversy. 
This happened at a time of fierce emotional debate in Germany over a book by the former Deutsche Bundesbank executive and finance senator of Berlin Thilo Sarrazin, which was critical of the Muslim immigration. At the same time she condemned a planned burning of Korans by a fundamental pastor in Florida. The Central Council of Muslims in Germany and the Left Party Die Link as well as the German Green Party criticized the action by the center-right chancellor. The Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung newspaper wrote, "...this will probably be the most explosive moment of her chancellorship so far." Others have praised Merkel and called it a brave and bold move for the cause of freedom of speech. Merkel's position towards the negative statements by Thilo Sarrazin with regard to the integration problems with Arab and Turkish people in Germany has been critical throughout. According to her personal statements, Sarrazin's approach is totally unacceptable and counterproductive to the ongoing problems of integration. The term alternativlos German for without an alternative which was frequently used by Angela Merkel to describe her measures addressing the European sovereign debt crisis, was named the Unword of the Year 2010 by a jury of linguistic scholars. The wording was criticized as undemocratic, as any discussion on Merkel's politics would thus be deemed unnecessary or undesirable. The expression is credited for the name of the political party alternative for Germany, which was founded in 2013. In July 2013, Merkel defended the surveillance practices of the National Security Agency, and described the United States as, "...our truest ally throughout the decades." During a visit of U.S. President Barack Obama in Berlin, Merkel said on 19 June 2013 in the context of the 2013 mass surveillance disclosures, "...the Internet is uncharted territory for us all." German, Das Internet East Newland für UNS Alle. This statement led to various Internet memes and online mockery of Merkel. Merkel compared the NSA to the Stasi when it became known that her mobile phone was tapped by that agency. In response, Susan Rice pledged that the U.S. will desist from spying on her personally, but said there would not be a no espionage agreement between the two countries. In July 2014 Merkel said trust between Germany and the United States could only be restored by talks between the two, and she would seek to have talks. She reiterated the U.S. remained Germany's most important ally, her statement, Islam is part of Germany. During a state visit of the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu in January 2015 induced criticism within her party. The parliamentary group leader Volker Kauder said that Islam is not part of Germany and that Muslims should deliberate on the question why so many violent people refer to the Quran. In October 2015, Horst Seehofer, Bavarian state premier and leader of CSU, the sister party of Merkel's CDU, criticized Merkel's policy of allowing in hundreds of thousands of migrants from the Middle East. We're now in a state of mind without rules, without system, and without order because of a German decision. Seehofer attacked Merkel policies in sharp language, threatened to sue the government in the High Court, and hinted that the CSU might topple Merkel. Many MPs of Merkel's CDU party also voices dissatisfaction with Merkel. Chancellor Merkel insisted that Germany has the economic strength to cope with the influx of migrants and reiterated that there is no legal maximum limit on the number of migrants Germany can take. At the conclusion of the May 2017 Group of Seven's leaders in Sicily, Merkel criticized American efforts to renege on earlier commitments on climate change. According to Merkel, the discussions were difficult and marred by dissent. Here we have the situation where six members, or even seven if you want to add the EU, stand against one. In the arts and media Since 1991, Merkel has sat annually for sitting and standing portraits by, and interview with, Herlin Kolbel. Merkel features as a main character in two of the three plays that make up the Europeans trilogy Bruges, Antwerp, Tervuren by Paris-based UK playwright Nick Ada, Bruges Edinburgh Festival, 2014 and Tervuren 2016. A character named Merkel, accompanied by a sidekick called Schobel, also appears as the sinister female henchman in Michael Periskaus's novel In Search of Sixpence. On the American sketch comedy Saturday Night Live, she has been parodied by Kate McKinnon since 2013. On the British sketch comedy Tracy Ullman's show, comedian Tracy Ullman has parodied Merkel to international acclaim with German media dubbing her impersonation as the best spoof of Merkel in the world. 
In 2016, a documentary film Angela Merkel, The Unexpected, a story about her unexpected rise to power from an East German physicist to the most powerful woman in the world, was produced by Broadview TV and MDR in collaboration with Arte and Das Erste. Topic see also Willkommen Sculptor Topic Notes Topic References Topic Further reading Plickert, Philip Editor 2017, Merkel, Ina Kritisch Balans, Finansbuch Verlag, ISBN 978-3959720656. Scard, Torild Angela Merkel in Women of Power, Half a Century of Female Presidents and Prime Ministers Worldwide, Bristol. Policy Press, ISBN 978-1447315780 Margaret Heckel, So Regert die Kanzlerin. Ina Reportage. Piper, Munchen 2009, ISBN 978-3492053310. Volker Ressing, Angela Merkel. Die Protestantin. Ein Portrait. St. Benno Verlag, Leipzig 2009, ISBN 978-3746226484. Gertrude Holler, Die Patten. We Angela Merkel Deutschland umbaut. Oral Fussley, Zurich 2012, ISBN 978-3280054802. Stefan Cornelius, Angela Merkel. Die Kanzlerin und ihre Welt. Hoffmann und Camp, Hamburg 2013, ISBN 978-3455502916. Nikolaus Blom, Angela Merkel, Die Zotterkunstlerin. Pantheon, München 2013, ISBN 978-3570552018. Stefan Hebel, Mutter Blamage, Warum die Nation Angela Merkel und ihre Politik nicht braucht. Westend, Frankfurt am Main 2013, ISBN 978-3864890215. Gunther Lockman, Ralph Georg Reuth, Das Erste Leben der Angela M. Piper, München 2013, ISBN 978-3492055819. Judy Dempsey, Das Fanemann Merkel, Deutschlands Macht und Möglichkeiten. Edition Korber Siftung, Hamburg 2013, ISBN 978-3896840974. Dirk Kerbjewite, Alternativlos, Merkel, Die Deutschen und das Ende der Politik. Hanser, München, 2014, ISBN 978-3446246201. Julia Schramm, Fifty Shades of Merkel. Hoffman and Camp, 2016, ISBN 978-3455504101 Topic External links Official website of Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany Merkel's personal website in German Merkel on her party's website Angela Merkel at Encyclopedia Britannica Appearances on C-SPAN Angela Merkel on IMDb Angela Merkel Collected News and Commentary at Al Jazeera English Angela Merkel Collected News and Commentary at The Economist Angela Merkel Collected News and Commentary Commentary at Forbes Angela Merkel Collected News and Commentary. The New York Times. Angela Merkel Collected News and Commentary at Time Packer, George the, 1st of December 2014. the Quiet German. The New Yorker, 46-63.